Welcome everybody back to episode 2 of the No Money Spent series and we're going to be starting with your daily moments. Make sure you do them. They're nice and easy. This one is Lou Brock vs. Flaherty. We end up, I guess, getting bailed out, but like I said, the moment's pretty easy, so probably would have gotten a hit anyway. It was just tally two hits in one game. Very simple. And now we get this Evolution Jason Giambi, who I'll be talking about in a few minutes, but for now, Let's go ahead and complete the Marlins collection. We put in the orders last episode, and now we're going to finish it. So we got D. Gordon here. If you don't know, this guy is cheese. He's going to a lot of slap base hits, a lot of stolen bases. So we will add him into our lineup. Uh, we ended up putting him at second. Obviously, he's going to be hitting leadoff. And now we're going to take a look at this Giambi. This is what you get if you complete the evolution program. And stage one is just two moments. Stage two is more moments. So let's just start and do these moments because they're nice and easy. This one I think might just be to get a hit, which is very easy, very simple. Even if the Giambi is a bronze card, which is obviously not very good. It's pretty simple, so we got that one done. This one, we end up hitting a perfect perfect, and it does just leave to give us our four total bases. Now we're on to stage two, which includes more moments, but also includes an exchange and four missions. So you only need to do two missions and all the moments, or you can do all four missions, or an exchange and a mission and the moments so we ended up doing the moments because they're pretty easy and definitely gonna take the least time of anything so we end up hitting that walk off home run the next game we did get a little bit under it but this is the better giambi with over 100 power and that's gonna end up working we'll hold up a second and get that moment done we just needed to get on base three times this one here, an absolute tank from Jason Giambi. No doubt shot. Uh, he'll be a really nice card to have at first base if we can get him. And this is D. Gordon, our new addition, making a great play in that three inning game moment. You love to see it. Now we check in. We are at 30 out of 50. And like I said, from here, we can do a couple different things. We can try this exchange, but. That will cost a little bit of stubs, and I'm kind of trying to save right now. So we could try our online missions, but I don't think that's a great idea because we don't really have a good team. So I looked at those offline missions, and speaking of missions, we might be doing some missions here for this first inning because we are way behind. Uh, it ends in, I think, what, 10 days was when this was recorded, so we got to get going. Um, and we did these moments they were super quick and easy uh, I didn't show them because yeah they're pretty simple and they don't take that long but that'll get us what 15 20 kxp we're up to 75 now you love to see that you can see we completed all of them now we're gonna hop in to some showdown and this is gonna be the starter showdown so very easy i just skipped straight to the end and completed it and we're gonna go ahead and get the shane bieber um, which is an okay card i guess but now we're gonna hop into the other showdown and this is the first inning showdown this is the final showdown altuve hits a bomb so as you can see 15 15 9 outs so you'd be like yeah you'll probably win this but no no i did not um, i went nine straight outs without getting a run and i deserve to lose the showdown this one looks a lot better though base is loaded only need one more run with 13 outs and jd davis delivers so we ended up completing it on the second try like i said i don't know what happened on the first one i guess i just lost focus and kind of blew it so i wasted a little bit of time but it's all good you can see we got success love to see it I did I think try all of the moments now let's move on to some progress we're looking solid the next thing to complete would probably be 
the conquest but first another daily moment so let's go ahead and complete it it's just one hit against pedro martinez with acuna that's pretty easy get it done now we're gonna hop into the player program first we're gonna be knocking out a bunch of moments here this one is houston street and i love closing pitcher moments let me be the first person to say that i mean these are so 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 quick to complete the computer is not good at all and if you didn't know here i'm walking guys this is a little tip uh because houston street has a very long very 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 long wind up so if you walk somebody he'll have to pitch from the stretch and it'll be a little quicker And just like that, we will complete these Houston Street moments. Like I said, maybe it took me 15, 20 minutes. Uh, so obviously, we need to go ahead and beat the Padres now uh, to go ahead and get Houston Street. So we'll do that in a sec. First, we'll take Plezak for our bullpen. He's not great, but the bullpen's really hard to fill early in the year. So we'll take it. Now we got 16, uh, the show packs, just base packs. And if you couldn't tell, I'm fast forwarding through these because we didn't get anything. I mean, we got a diamond unlockable, but you know, that's basically a gold player. And yeah, we're just running through and not getting a thing. That's nice. That elbow guard goes for about a thousand. That's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I mean, these packs weren't great for me. I have not been blessed yet with packs in this game, but I know. Just gotta wait my time and I will eventually get kinda lucky, but for now, we struck out on the packs. But hey, they were all free, so there's really no harm, no foul. We're gonna go ahead and play the Padres on All-Star. This is the lineup we're using. You may be like, wow, a lot of first basemen. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we need to get three home runs with them, so I basically loaded up my lineup with first basemen. Uh, the only ones that aren't are, I think, Eric Davis and Gary Sanchez. I believe are the only two that are not first baseman. And Giambi is going to help out that 10 total bases mission right there with an absolute tank. I kind of miss with my PCI too, but hey, that's Ship at Stadium. It's no secret that I wanted to play here. And Eric Davis is going to add to the punishment there. Absolutely crushed. Aguilar will continue it as well. We were just teeing off on LeMay this inning. I mean, it was kind of sad, actually. Garrett Cooper goes yard, only 54 power, but it doesn't matter. That's another home run. And then Pujols decides that he wants to get in on the action, too. And now, just like that, we end up winning. I skipped through a little bit. As you can see here, though, LeMay gave up eight earned runs, and we won. Nice to see. Giambi only had that home run, though, so we're going to have to continue with those total bases. And as you can see here, we get a lot of XP, but we also get that Houston Street, who is going to be a great addition to our bullpen for the early year. Kind of reminds me of the Kerry Wood that we got last year for a player program. Taking a look as well at the parallels, we're getting Snell up. But... I'm going to collect the Houston Street. Now we're up to 175k, pretty much, on this first inning program, which is about halfway there. Now we're going to go ahead and complete the conquest map yeah this is not gonna take very long but i didn't even realize that you also had to do a seal fans game and if you couldn't tell i didn't do the seal fans game i didn't even know that i had to uh, i probably wouldn't have done this map otherwise but whatever it's fine i am not stressing at all it's one three inning game barely took any time at all uh, generally, the starter conquests, in my opinion, are not worth it. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see here, I just didn't even bother. And now we're going to hop into another daily moment. This one is Trevor Hoffman, just to get a save. And, yeah, it's pretty easy. Didn't take that long at all. 
and now we get Roberto Alomar, 89 overall. Even though uh, in real life he's been in a little bit of hot water recently, this is still a nice card to have. Good switch hitter, and funny enough, about as quickly as we got him, D Gordon will be heading to the bench, but he will probably stay there for a while because of all of the speed that he has. He'll be a great pinch runner. For now, Alomar, I'd prefer him. He's a switch hitter, a little bit more power, better fielder, decent speed. Now, we'll go ahead and open up some packs that we got here. Our show packs, they have not been good to me all year. It's all good though, we'll continue. We don't get anything, but we are guaranteed a diamond player with that classics. And I thought I'd show this too. Our equipment was bat tape, which is about 2,000 subs for whatever reason. Um, very expensive. And we got the set with headliners. Obviously, I love to see the Donaldson, but I don't expect it. And yeah, we end up getting a silver out of Meaton. Now this show classics pack, we're guaranteed a diamond here. Either Evaldi, Mazzara, or... Kana, as you can see, Evaldi actually looks very good, uh, but Kana also looks like a beast. Nomar Mazzara looks fine. I don't know that I'd go ahead and pick him. Uh, just looking, it was kind of tough for me to choose, but I did take Kana over Evaldi. Uh, his cards are really glitchy. His swing is known to be incredible, so we'll take it. Now we're going to go ahead and sell this expensive equipment because I'm not going to use it. Oh, we're gonna hop into some conquest. This is the first inning map. I'm trying to get as much done as possible. So I figured I'd go over my general conquest strategy here. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and conquer territories, get free space. But most importantly, I was going after strongholds. And I was going after strongholds at a very specific point. The second that I could play a game on veteran, I was playing against that team and the reason why I waited until veteran is because generally it's pretty much impossible to get a game against rookie you have to have like a 50 million man advantage uh, and that's very difficult so it's a lot easier to get games on veteran and I figured I need total bases with a bronze card so if I'm playing on hall of fame or all-star that's probably going to be more difficult and generally that worked um, as you can see I'm doing a lot of sim here we're going to attack the Phillies. Um, another thing as well that I'm, I'm attempting to do is just stack fans. If you've never played Conquest before, stacking fans is the move. Don't bother spreading them out like these other teams are. Um, it doesn't really work super well. So just know that. And then you'll be pretty set for Conquest. It's pretty simple. It's not, you know... It hasn't changed pretty much since it came out, so it's not very unique or difficult, but I thought I'd show this too. This was a double from Giambi that not only gave our team the lead, but also went ahead and basically completed the moment here or the mission to go ahead and get total bases with Giambi. So that was really clutch. And then also Eric Davis here with a nice hit. But more importantly, though, we end up getting the mission done, and we get the 85 Jason Giambi, who will 100% be added into our lineup at first base. We just did it. And this lineup's really starting to come together, really starting to get better. And so that's the other reason that I was playing Conquest here. Even though it's not going to give me a ton of XP for the first inning program, I had to do the Evolution program anyway, so I might as well go ahead and get bonus XP, bonus packs, everything like that for playing Conquest while I'm doing the Evolution program. Instead of just playing against the CPU, you know, maybe I get a silver card from the post-game rewards, but generally that's not going to happen. So it makes a lot more sense for me to go ahead and do this in Conquest. Uh, Conquest is the move if you need any sort of stat counting, because uh, moments do not count for stats at all right showdown does not count for stats at all so basically it's either conquest or play versus cpu and i lean towards conquest because you're going to be getting bonus rewards packs for hiddens you're going to get xp for goals and they're nice three inning games too so sometimes you can get two at bats if you lead a guy off like that's what was happening with Giambi. i was getting pretty much two at bats a game and then it would pretty much reset 
the second after he was at bat twice. So in theory, I was probably getting more at bats, if that makes sense, with Giambi than if it was a nine inning game. You know, I was probably getting more at bats per inning. So we're we're just taking the territories around the Giants. Uh, they're fighting back a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. I kind of wish they didn't do that because it's a little bit more difficult for me. But we are winning a lot of these Sims. There's just this pocket of Mariners fans that are left. And as well, some Giants fans that are still chilling down there. But other than that, we've completed this map. Uh, I will admit, it's kind of an interesting map. I don't really know that. It's super difficult, though. Because you get the middle of the map, which is... A little bit difficult if you're not careful but as long as you attack strongholds you'll never really lose I can't remember if I've ever even lost a conquest map uh, just because it depends on your strategy anyways let's go ahead and step back a little bit we'll complete all six goals get the five pack bundle and also get the XP as you can see up there we're at 212,000 XP so we're getting closer and closer to 350 we're gonna go ahead and actually do some of these smaller exchange missions because they don't take that long, they're not super expensive, and they'll give us a little bit of bonus XP. So we're gonna hop into some more conquests here, doing the other map now. And now we don't actually have any goals to complete for the evolution. Uh, we're good to go on that, but I still wanted to do this for some extra XP. It's also a pretty small map. Uh, we're pretty close to every team already and we start in the middle which makes life a little bit easier so we'll go ahead and win that first game and as you can see we got an Adam Adovino parallel I was mostly using him because he's got a nice cheesy delivery and a nice quick delivery as well so it's really nice to use him or just find any relief pitcher or starting pitcher that has a really quick motion and you'll be able to go ahead and save some time so that's the general tip as well for conquests. Just speed up, use a pitcher that has a quick motion. Uh, you should always be trying to find things to, I guess, cut the time down in conquest and generally. So we're gonna continue through here. As you can see, I'm just attacking teams and then taking the territories around them later. We also got an Eric Davis parallel uh, we're the 35,000th person to get the parallel or somewhere around there. So that's pretty crazy to think that that many people got Eric Davis. But I mean, he was free, so it doesn't shock me. Um, we also got a Gallegos parallel. Uh, he's another guy that I was using when Adovino got tired. And there we go. We are pretty much just running through Conquest and also getting parallels. Now, they're parallels for cards that I probably won't be using in the near future. Even Eric Davis, I don't think, will be a part of my team long term. Um, but it's still pretty cool to get some parallel cards for just playing the game. And that's the other thing about Conquest that I forgot to mention, is that it's one of the few ways to grind parallels. We also got Gary Sanchez. We're just playing and getting a bunch of parallels without even really trying. but. Yeah, as I was saying, it's another great way to get parallel cards uh, besides just grinding play versus CPU, which is a little monotonous. Another thing that's nice about Conquest this year is after three innings, if nobody's scored, you actually get a free runner on second base, which basically makes it impossible not to score a run. And sometimes those Conquest stalemates where there was six, seven innings, you know, uh, those are pretty much gone now, which is nice to see. Kind of an inadvertent change that SCS had to make because of the new extra inning MLB rules. So that's also a nice thing that makes Conquest a little bit easier this year. Uh, we are not taking this map with any sort of semblance of um, any sort of normalcy. Uh, we're leaving a bunch of gaps, which we will have to fill up later, but you know, it's all good. Generally, though, Conquest. It's pretty easy. It does take a while though, uh, when you add up all these stronghold games. And there's one thing I forgot about this map that if you've done it, you probably know. But I didn't know because the other one didn't really have this requirement. So I thought I'd be all good to go. I thought I was pretty much done with this map. I just got to go ahead and conquer some of these extra territories and I'd be done. 
but it turns out that's not the case. You have to steal fans. Uh, the other one did not require any fan stealing, so I didn't really know that. As you can see, it's a six of seven on the goals. And yeah, I have to steal four million fans. So I decided to do that in one fell swoop. I did it on Hall of Fame and I won. Uh, if you need to though, you can do two veteran games. You can see we got the Santander parallel. We also got a bunch of extra XP. That is where we are looking on our parallels. Pretty decent. And now we're up to 250K. Getting our Tatis El Nino bat skin, which is kind of cool. Now we got 13 packs, some from the Conquest, some from the program. And yeah, these are not very good. Yeah, let's speed these up. Uh, not good packs. I just haven't gotten lucky this year yet. We're still looking for it. But it doesn't quite look like it's going to happen. Also, that sub counter up there is slowly but surely getting up. We're at 38k now. And basically, I've been getting there by just not buying cards and taking the stubs that SDS gives me, selling things that are expensive, like a, various equipment items, even though I haven't gotten a whole lot of really expensive players. Those equipment items, those unlockables, all of that stuff adds up. And I'm getting these, obviously, from opening these free packs. So SDS, very generous with their stubs and giving out subs. You get subs for pretty much everything. And we got another bat tape which is just super nice to see even if we can't get a gold player in a pack right now we will have four guaranteed with the ball in his habit packs but we'll get there in a sec Berrios solid card he ended up going gold I believe in the roster update uh, so that's nice got McCutcheon love to see him back on the field playing baseball again if we get a gold unlockable that's a guaranteed 500 stubs uh, Miami Marlins jerseys Solid. And our last pack. First ball in pack. And we get Charlie Blackman. Not great. We prefer a little bit more of an expensive gold. Hyunjin Ryu also. Not great. We're looking for those higher tier golds. Those 83, 84s. But you know what? We'll take double golds here. And one of them is Kenta Maeda. A fairly expensive gold. So I'm very happy with that. What do you know? We don't get a diamond in the ball in packs. It's all good though. Because we're going to end up selling some of these cards. I held on to a few of them. And some of them, like I said, I did not get rid of. Uh, I actually held on to my ADA because I was thinking I might do the Twins collection uh, in the near future. I had a duplicate Zach Wheeler, so I sold him. Uh, I sold Charlie Blackman. And now we're going to go ahead and check the equipment. I got a glove that was like a thousand stubs. Uh, chest protector is pretty expensive. The bat tape was very expensive. And I held on to the socks even though they were a couple thousand stubs. So now we're up to 40k stubs. Let's go ahead and check the market. See how it is. The one card that I really want to get in the near future is this Jorge Soler. I mean... The power on him is ridiculous, and I was crushing with his silver and now bronze card. So I'm very excited for that, but we're doing some more tops now moments. And this is the Ryan McMahon moment where you got to get three extra base hits. I did it in three at-bats, and that was pretty nice. It did take me a while to get to this point, though. Even though the card's good, three extra base hits is always a struggle. This one, Dylan Carlson, we just had to hit a home run, and this one took way longer. And you might think uh, I struggled mightily with this one. Now, this moment was probably the biggest pain in the ass moment this year so far. I mean, you can't make this up. The pitcher gets a stupid little blue pit. Failed moment. We give up a hit there. Failed moment. And you just hate to see it because... 2,000 years later. Now, I did make my life a little bit easier by walking, guys. Uh, to get a little bit of a quicker wind up eventually we do get it But yeah, that's the strategy if you are looking for it this one I couldn't walk people so I had to take a little bit longer for the wind up uh, But we do end up getting it done. I think this is first try too, and I actually struck out Everybody except for that last hitter so pretty solid 
And now we'll go ahead and claim our tops now pack. So there's two different options here, Ryan McMahon or Musgrove. Now this was actually difficult. I ended up taking Musgrove though, because he's part of a rotation. You know, I can use him in the future. Uh, even in the back of my rotation, he'll be solid. So he's our first diamond pitcher so far. Now we have an all gold staff. The bullpen still is not great. Uh, we'll go ahead and put Ken Giles in though. This is the current lineup. And we'll go ahead and put Carlson on the bench. So we're going to do some more top snow moments. Now, this one is for the Rodone no-hitter. And Adam Duvall is going to start off nice and easy with the no-doubt shot. And that was really close because it was in the eighth inning. So kind of nailed it. Now we got this Carlos Rodon. And I'll tell you what, I really like this card because of how quickly his windup is. His windup is so quick. Even when he's not in the stretch, his windup is ridiculously quick. So I didn't even have to walk guys in that moment. And this one took me a few tries. The Mariners are not a good hitting team. But eventually we did get it going. And Ty France ended up delivering a basis clearing double. And we do end up getting the win. With the final score of 5-8. to eight. So that one was actually kind of difficult. You just had to string together some hits. My tip for that is if you are unable to get a hit with the first batter or two, just restart the moment and try again. Eventually, you'll start to string together a few hits, get a few runs, and then you just got to go and pitch. This one was pretty easy. I think it was a three-inning game. You now, it was with the Athletics, not with your team. So I guess I made it a little bit more difficult. But now we got this pack. I ended up, this was an easy pick for me. I mean, Duvall is just not good against against righties, and I don't really like his swing. So it was pretty easy for me to decide, and we ended up going for Rodon because he's got a super quick release. going to be great for grinding um, moments, conquest, anything like that. Maybe not moments, but going to be great for grinding conquest and whatnot. And now, as you can see here, we got two diamonds in the rotation, which is nice to see. We also picked up Tyler Stevenson. So now we're gonna be focusing on these three cards here. We are still trying to get that first inning program done. And our last mission of this video is gonna be to pick up a Jason, cause why not? Uh, Jason Dominguez, super highly touted prospect. We'll go ahead and pick him up for about 15,000 stubs. Add him into the outfield. I'm sorry, Mr. Santander. You will have to go on the bench for now. Who knows, maybe he'll reappear in the next couple of episodes. Wink, wink, wink. Hint, hint, hint. Anyways, he'll go on the bench, and that'll be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the second episode. I'm out. Peace.